हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम ए सेकेंड ईयर वेटनरी स्टूडेंट एट शेर कश्मीर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी जम्मू सो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट मेजर आस्क क्वेश्चन दैट इज वेटनरी ईजी और टफ सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी शेयरिंग ऑल द बेसिक इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द वेटनरी कोर्स इन इंडिया सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द वीडियो सो बिफोर मूविंग अहेड इफ यू वॉन्ट एनी काइंड ऑफ नोट्स रिलेटेड टू एनेटमी फिजियोलॉजी एंड एल पी एम यू कैन ज्वाइन माई टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो एट आई विल बी डिवाइडिंग दिस वीडियो इन टू सेक्शन नंबर वन इज द प्रैक्टिकल एंड नंबर सेकेंड इज द थ्योरी सो नाउ स्टार्टिंग विद द प्रैक्टिकल्स एक्चुअली इन वेटनरी देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल्स एंड इट डिमांड्स लाइक योर प्योर मेंटल एज वेल एज फिजिकल अटेंशन एंड द प्रैक्टिकल आर मेजरली लाइक टू आवर्स लॉन्ग एंड you have to be really attentive in the practical classes after coming on to the theory part your classes start at 9 and you will be in the college till 5 pm in majority of the colleges it's like that uh, apart from that in my university the scenario is that we don't get any kind of leaves as such like there are no summer vacation no winter vacations as such and in majority of the colleges across the india there are no summer or winter vacations so this part concludes the basic things that you will be engaged in your studies approximately for around 5.5 years and now moving on to the internship internship is really a tough part of this course because you will be getting only 12 leaves in a year according to the vci curriculum that an intern can only get 12 leaves apart from that you have to work on saturdays as well as sundays so internship is quite tough Uh, when it comes to like time management it, there is a myth that only mbbs interns have to work a lot but veterinary interns have to work a lot as well because we will be posted in gaushalas in uh, zoos in college hospital as well as in government hospital in a particular area so it's really tiring so now moving on to a very interesting point that, that in mbbs you have to treat only one species that is the homo sapiens and we and we know about the basic physiological process because we are taught every single thing about human being starting from the 6th class to the 12th class uh, like digestive system respiratory system cardiovascular reproductive so we know the basic physiology and the anatomical aspects of a human body but as soon as you will enter into veterinary you will be introduced with a whole new and different approach that you will be studying ox you will be studying horses you will be studying dogs you will be studying pigs and you will be studying poultry majorly apart from that you will also have to study the wildlife animals wild animals are also a part of your curriculum so there are a lot of species to deal with apart from that i am only in the second year but according to my seniors there are different drugs for different species and in different species there are various breeds so there are various medicine drugs for various breeds as well so you have to be like really focused and consistent in your studies the species are really really tough so now moving on to the physical capabilities uh, it's like that you have to be a bare minimum strong so that you can at least restrain the animal of course you will not have to do that alone you will be doing that in a group of friends or whenever you will be serving as a veterinary assistant surgeon you will also have some people to help you but at least you should know the techniques to how to restrain an animal apart from that you have to be animal friendly the veterinary is such a demanding uh, field that you cannot be like oh i will not touch dog oh i will not touch monkeys i will not touch reptiles i will not touch poultry you have to touch feel and even lift them in your lap every single animal is equal for you be it canine be it equine be it bovine basically this means that be it cattle be it horses be it dogs and cats so you have to be really and really loving veterinary is more of a mental game than a physical thing but you but you must have this feeling that yes these are animals and i have to treat them and i have to touch and feel them now moving on to the social acceptance uh, like we often see people saying us that tum to dangar doctor ho apart from that like there is a situation in india that when we say doctor we only and only imagine mbbs doctors and we don't really give respect to the veterinarians and it's not like that that everyone does it because 
a few days ago we went to a village there were really so much respectful and they were calling us by saying dok sahab and that day i felt that yes in ruler part of india they treat you like very well they treat vegetarians very well and in the metropolitan cities it's like that they give you the equal respect but the major portion of india's population still thinks that vegetarians are not doctors and we save some innocent souls who cannot speak for their own and we have to identify the disease we have to diagnose it we have to like prepare the whole treatment and it and apart from that we know that our patient is obviously going to bite us to kick us or he won't be paying us like the money and all but still we have to treat them so this is a you can say a difficulty but as, and you can take it as an opportunity too ki aap capable ho ek aise organism ko treat karne ke liye jo kabhi apne dukh aapko nahi bata sakta okay so now moving on to the emotional aspect of veterinary sciences a lot of people think that when a when your patient dies it hardly matters like when a cat or dog dies obviously there are emotions attached to it but largely when a cattle or an equine species large animal basically dies people imagine that oh what's the loss it's just an animal but this is a very interesting incident happened to me during the vet fest there was a post mortem and i happened to join it so so after attending that post mortem and i saw the farmer who whose goat was dead and it was really a devastating feeling for me and i have recorded something from that like that incident that will be after this clip so veterinarian mein bahut sari cheeze hain jo matter karti hain kyunki jo wo post mortem tha wo ek goat ka tha aur wo goat ke jo owner hain unke paas lagbhag 25 30 bakriyan thi unme se unki continuously thode hi life time span ke andar 8 9 bakriyan mar gayi hain ye shayad 8 hi 9 hi thi sabko bahut ज़्यादा सीवियर एनीमिया है और ही वॉज लिटरली क्राइंग और वो अपने आप में उनको देखना ऐसे रोते हुए कि मैं बकरी जिस फार्मर के पास होती है उसकी इकोनॉमिक कंडीशन उतनी ठीक नहीं मानी जाती है क्योंकि गोट का नाम ही है ना पुअर मैंस का तो ये हिला देने वाला थोड़ा एक्सपीरियंस था मेंटल स्टेबिलिटी को कि मतलब इट कैन नॉट बी एक्सप्लेन इन वर्ड्स ना करेंगे फिर पे बट ये क्योंकि बाकी जितने भी हमने पोस्ट मोर्टम्स किए हैं ना वो या तो हमारे फार्म के एनिमल्स थे गवर्नमेंट फार्म के या फिर उनके ओनर से इंट्रैक्शन नहीं हुआ था ये ओनर बाहर ही बैठे थे एंड ही वाज क्राइंग तो बुरा लगता है यार बहुत यू शुड बी रियली एंड रियली गुड एट कम्युनिकेटिंग विद पीपल कंसोलिंग देम बिकॉज सो नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज द मॉनिटरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द वेटनरी फील्ड सी एवरी वन नोज दैट अ फार्मर इज सम करेंटली आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्मॉल फार्मर्स who have only like one two animals it's someone who do not have that much amount of money that he or she can pay you like amazingly well so we have to like do the treatment in a reasonable cost and of course that affects our net earnings as a doctor but the satisfaction i would say after treating an animal is something that is like cannot be matched and i am not comparing myself with mbbs doctors obviously there are doctors in india who treat poor people like for free of cost or in a bare minimum cost but we don't have that option to treat like we cannot open a chain of hospital and where you have to be like pay a specific amount for prescription like 500 or 1000 as such we cannot do that i am not talking about the tier 1 cities and the small animal clinics i am talking about the tier 20 tier 3 cities and the rural part of india where the majority patients are the large animal species so the money issues are in this field obviously but if you get a government job then you can earn like way more than an mbbs does just after your under graduation so there will be a video soon within this week uh, regarding the scopes of veterinary sciences so stay tuned for that so choose this field wisely and i hope these are the doubts which most of the people have and i tried my best to clear them all but still if you have any queries any doubts you can connect me on the instagram the link is in the description you can subscribe the channel you can drop a comment i will be happy to help you 
थैंक यू सो मच कीप शेयरिंग कीप लविंग